All right, well, we finally got delivery of the Center Force clutch. A day later than what we needed because I blew up my clutch, but Center Force had no idea I blew up my clutch. The perfect timing for this to arrive. This box is 50 pounds. Oh, oh, oh. It's the dyad. How do we get this out of here? Center Force. Oh, I just gave myself a cardboard cut. Important info, don't need that. Just kidding. Definitely keep that. And she's gold. Uh, this is a tool usually that we use for installation. And wow. So relieved to finally see this clutch here. So I've never done a clutch install before, but I chose this clutch because it is a street racing clutch. So it's a perfect combination of having like a decently simple pedal feel, so it's not super aggressive, but then it's also great for the track because it holds up around 400 to 925 foot pounds, which is exactly what we need because we have around 650 max right now uh, to the wheel on power with about, you know, high 500s of the torque. So this will definitely hold enough power for us and shouldn't cause any issues. And we are also using the OE slave cylinder, but the OE slave cylinder has a little plastic piece. So we are taking out that plastic piece out of the slave cylinder and replacing it with the billet GPI metal bearing in there. So then it'll be just as good, if not better than all the aftermarket slave cylinders combined with this aftermarket clutch, which is what we need to hold power since my stock clutch did have over 100,000 miles on it. This is very necessary. And thank you, Center Forest, for getting this on the perfect day for us and they are a company that's local to me. They are in Prescott, Arizona, so I'll probably go visit their facility coming soon. It is first day back at GPI since LS Fest, and I'm back with Max, <laughs> the pro tech here at Quadney Performance. He's super excited to see this car back after working on it for like 30 days straight. So now he's a professional at this particular car. Uh, yeah. He can whip out a clutch in like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he already found fluid all down here by the transmission and it's leaking on the floor. So it's really exciting to see that. Lots of damage from me from using a 100,000 mile stock clutch on any motor. I just want to call you macaroni. Please don't. I hate macaroni. Really? Yeah. They always make fun of me because I don't like macaroni. Why would you like macaroni when you can just get french fries? Step one, take off the exhaust. <laughs> Thank you, Kayla. <laughs> I did not. Max, I'm here as your assistant. Just yell at me and what to do if you need anything. You've done enough. <laughs> <laughs> enough damage? <laughs> you've, you've done enough. <laughs> Oh, my bad. Uh, Alright, now make sure you come down far enough in the back. Uh, so in between your car and the vet. Easy peasy. I'm already taking apart the whole shifter that we just put in last week. And then this is zip tied to that. This little zip tie was holding on my shifter boot so it stays. The shifter just has four bolts on the top side with a locker washer. 
All right, shifter's out. Yay. Easy, Max. <laughs> you see the ear of the transmission? Up there? Yeah. Where that ball hole is. That All the way on is. the heat shield? Yeah, that's touching the heat shield. Yeah. And that one, that does the same thing on that side? No, you gotta like half ass rotate the transmission. Just so one side will clear and the other one might clear. She's out. Good. Yeah, that is shredded in there. That plastic bearing. See how beat that is? Make sure you get the process about what Max is doing on the clutch. Oh, that would suck to leave that paper on it. <laughs> yeah, it's meant to be taken apart. <laughs> it spit it out pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. So this would be the city. We used to get broken in. They would, uh, I'd have them sandblast the floater, the pressure plate, and, and the flywheel, and uh, they'd basically bead blast it. And you don't have to break it in. It would already break in that way. It was like an extra charge. What's that? The floater doesn't bolt in? Uh, no. That's it weird. Yeah, it just sits I'm on. Mm. It sits there, but you notice it sits there on these adjustable stops. Yeah, I'm gonna mark where that was setting. Before. You need to put it in the same spot you got it. Yeah. It's actually got a little red mark over here. You can't miss it. It says right, it says right here, Max. You hear me? Yeah, it's already marked. It sits perfectly. I'm not putting a new pilot bearing in because I literally just put a new one in. Yeah. Yeah. Is it smooth? Is yeah, it... I stuck my finger in there and it feels fine. That's another part, uh, yeah, the thing we developed, Kayla, that's kind of neat is these. These bearings, yeah. they have an inherent problem, and, and it's worse on the C6 Corvettes. They put too much press fit on these things. When you drive them in the crankshaft, the bearing gets tight. Okay. And when the bearing gets tight, then what happens is instead of the bearing turning like a bearing, the shaft spins in the bearing. Almost every C6 Corvette you take apart, the end of the shaft has is, is got 100,000 missing off of it. It's galling. So the C5s had a different bearing. They had a needle bearing that was deeper in the crank and they had a longer input shaft. So what we did is we, we made a sleeve uh, that we drive into the crankshaft and we retrofit it with a C5 pilot bearing, which has got a needle bearing and the shaft runs in the needle bearing and it solves that problem. So that in there? Yeah, yeah oh. well, what it is, we built a sleeve that goes around here and then we put a needle bearing in there in place of the roller gun. Interesting. <laughs> He's a little stuck. Flywheel. Yeah. Thank goodness that one bullet was on it. It's almost like a weapon. Yeah, it's so weird. It's so weird. Forgot one bullet. Like, <laughs> yeah, really thank God I forgot that one bolt. <laughs> Put it in work. Thanks for doing something. So Max lined up all those bolts to make sure it all properly fits and that the flywheel is sitting flush against the motor and in the holes. And then he took them all out and he added a little bit of thread locker or Loctite on the bolts and then put them in. So he's double checking that the bolts are fitting properly. Then once he saw they're all lined up, then he puts the thread locker on and torques them down. Do you know what you're torquing these down to yet? Uh, 25, 60, and 82? Okay. 82. Yeah, 82. 82? So you just work in steps torquing it down just to make sure it's all properly seated and you don't have like the left side or right side torqued, you know, stronger than the other side because obviously that'll cause problems down the road. You want me to do that? Yeah, here, yeah, take this. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna go.
going up. Star, dun, 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 dun. Is enough cool. <laughs> Knowing Kayla, they're finger tight. Yeah, so the reason we went in a star pattern is just to make sure it sits all flush. And we had to torque down to 82 foot pounds. Now Max is cleaning it. I so we, Kayla's job. <laughs> just to make it shiny. <gasps> you don't want grease in between. You don't want like grease or oil sitting in between the different not Brake cleaner. Yeah. And he's using that little center tool just to make sure it aligns with the spines perfectly for all the different discs. Otherwise, you wouldn't really know if you wanted it up. And then when you go to put the drive shaft on, it wouldn't be able to go all the way through it. Oh, that gas hurts bad. Is this a floater? Yeah. And then you have that little pink um, paint up there just to make sure you put it in on the right way. Yeah, because obviously this sits in with these three right here, so you wouldn't know which way is technically up without that pink paint. What do you think, Kayla? It's looking good. It's exciting. I'm excited to roast it. Just kidding. We're not going to roast it. <laughs> I'm excited to have a new clutch and the new GPI billet bearing on that slave cylinder so we won't have that plastic issue like the factory slave cylinder has with the plastic bearing melting and ruining my days at LS Fest. But I made the most out of it. It's sad, a little plastic bearing will cause all this damage. Yeah, that plastic bearing, my clutch is definitely a little bit more worn down than it was last week when we pulled the motor. And that's definitely because the clutch was slipping because that bearing wasn't properly grabbing because that bearing was definitely going out over time. I love all these ARP nuts and bolts. Oh, the Senna Force logo is upside down. So it doesn't fall on my face. Where does this go here, too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't stress, Max. It's easy. Oh, no. You gotta tell him everything's easy. Yeah, Kayla could be doing this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Legos. You want to do this part? No. 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 What are we tightening down to? Alright. Well, what we're gonna do first. I'm gonna show you how to do this correctly. You're just gonna. If their paper says a quarter of a turn, you see the gap in between the spacer on the stud yeah. and the, flex, or the mm -hmm. pressure plate. We're going to run them all down in a star pattern until they touch. Don't just go touch, 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 touch. You just got to go a little bit at a time all the way around until okay. they're all pretty close. But we're going to take this out because this is plastic and garbage. We have to stick this in there this is metal it will line everything up better now whenever we go to tighten it down okay once you get them bottom and they're touching you're gonna put a little bit of pressure on like try to keep it in the middle whenever you go to torque it until you at least get three of them torqued and then you can take it out so that's, that's after I torque it not yeah just but it. that this just helped to keep it aligned but this is way better than that plastic stuff because it's plastic and it can get bent whenever you yeah and whenever you go to put the trans in and it's not fun because you blast it. Gone. Great. 
working so I'm studying with macaroni. That's right. You'll feel them whenever the, the plate like actually hits the stud. And whenever it does that, just stop right there. You'll feel it whenever it hits. The pressure plate to touch the, so I still the spacer and then the spacer touch the fly one. As soon as it does that, you'll feel it. As soon as you do that on each one, just stop and then we'll start torquing. Stay there, you're doing great. I'm trying not to chop my fingers off. All right, I released the chain, so. You're scaring me. Yeah, don't scare me too, hey? Mm -hmm. Jack it up just a little bit. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got it together or we live together. I'm trying to make sure the gap's the same all the way around. Looking good. Yeah, you're almost in. Nice job. <laughs> We're gonna do this. Two, like, right there. Wait. I don't want to get the trans back up and the harness on and your shifter back in. We're going to lower it down to make sure the pedal feels good. I swear to God, that's the exact noise it made. What noise? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to happen. I was like, this sounds sick. I'm like, yeah, Kayla, I guess it's just sounds like that high boosted. temp fluid. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. Sounded boosted. What's going on, Kayla? Where are we at? I'm hungry. Well, what are we doing? Got Finish the shifter back up. in? Yeah, and then Max putting on like the, what is this, the trans harness? That would be correct. And then I'm just waiting to. Until we jack up the trans, all the connectors are on, and then I can put the bolts for the shifter in, and then we can put the trans brace back on to hold the transmission up once we get it all the way up. Ah, I'm gonna need that. Secure her so the trans doesn't fall, and I'm shifted real hard with my brand new clutch at max power. Yeah, we're gonna do a lot of 7200 RPM flat Instantly. foot shitting. It's the best way to break cool. it in. And bam, just like that. I drove the car all the way across the United States and made it back to Arizona. And I do want to thank GPI so, so much for this whole engine building experience. And the car safely made it all the way across the country, about a 19 hour drive on the brand new build, brand new clutch, brand new motor, everything was zero issues so far. <laughs> but with this clutch, I did want to show you guys the stock one here it is you can obviously see the difference not like you'll see it when you're driving but through this in the civic and brought it all the way home center force clutch feels absolutely amazing it's definitely a high horsepower clutch because this thing launches on a dime now compared to the stock one the stock one you'd have to kind of work this thing just wants to go right away. So be prepared for that. If you guys are adding power to your car, obviously know that you kind of just have to go all the way. <laughs> it's very, very difficult to make it, everything feel like stock when you go for a faster car in general. Obviously this is a road course build, so we will be racing it in the future and get it on some tracks. But thanks again, GPI, for staying late before my drive home. They stayed there until like, midnight with me about 11 30 midnight and they called in ryan stevens the tuner and he came in and he had to fix the problems with my car before i was leaving so i just want to say thank you everybody at gpi and max for being <laughs> the best partner and technician and showing me the ropes on this entire car i'm extremely grateful for this opportunity and to suck in all the knowledge that these guys have absorbed 
through the years and I get to experience it all within a month. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Reach out to me down below in the comments if you guys have any questions on this clutch install and I would be happy to help you guys out. Well, I hope you all have an amazing day or night, whatever time it is, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.